Tab Nation. It's your boy Tom, and some of my most popular videos are obviously macro rec recorders. They're pretty much always my top three videos, pretty much are always something about macro recorders, especially pullovers macro recorders. So we're doing another video, and this is a huge one. The other ones I've just kind of taught you about usage, but did you know there is now I don't know when this was released, um, but a version 2 of Pullover's Macro Recorder. And what I mean by that is not like a version 2 of it, but it uses version 2 code. So this is huge. I know people have been like asking for this. I honestly don't know if he, the creator of it, is even working on it anymore or has plans to officially make it part of version 2 coding. Uh, I'm not really sure on that. Uh, if you guys know, or hey, if you're the creator and happen to be watching this, that's awesome. Thank you for your service. Uh, let me know in the comments below. Um, so yeah. So obviously, um, this is going to be in the description below. Shout out to this guy or girl, Sam Fisher IRL. I guess it means in real life. Um, but yeah, this is his GitHub. I just randomly came across this out of curiosity because I was wondering if that's ever going to happen. Um, so this isn't, as far as I know, is not like the original creator of Pullovers. This is kind of someone creating a fork of it, um, so a new project. Um, but for the most part, it works the same. It just spits out version 2 code, which is amazing. Now, just to throw this out there in this video, in case you... Um, don't want to use pullovers macro recorder and you're just looking to um do like uh, a conversion there is this uh auto hotkey version 2 script converter it so far it converts very well i have ran into very little issues if really any um so just want to throw that out there i did do a video on this i'll uh, try to remember to link that in the description or pin it in the comments um, so check out that video. Um, this is great for that. Um, but if you're starting fresh with a new macro, yeah. So you're going to go to this GitHub in the description below, like I said. And uh, there's not much going on here as far as how it works. You know, it just gives you kind of, you know, this runs on pullover AHK version 1. So even though the program, it sounds like, is still written in version 1, it spits out version 2 code, which is all we really care about. We don't care how it was created and which version. We just want it to spit out the version 2 code. Um, so, yeah. Um, so, you know, definitely read through this. There's some pictures, a GIF here. Uh, just, you know, a quick rundown. Not a lot of description on how to do anything on it, but we'll look at that too. So here's all the files you're going to need. You're going to go up here to code, and you can just download zip. Once you do that, I have it on my desktop right here. And you're just going to right click or however you do this, you know, and just say like extract here or extract files with whatever program you're using. It doesn't matter. And you're going to end up with this, the unzipped version. And it's uh, unzipped. It's 38.5 megabytes, so it's not big at all. It's great. We're going to open that folder and we're going to say launch pullovers macro recorder. So we'll do that usually pretty fast doesn't take more than 10 seconds um, and let me sh make sure this is fitted a little better into my screen there we go and as you see I mean it for the most part still looks the same so let me actually launch the version 1 of it which I have installed so as you see I mean as far as I can tell it looks exactly the same so as far as functionality uh, you're not going to have to learn anything new. It's just going to spit out different code. So, for example, uh, in this one, you know, let's just uh, real quick, you know, show you how it's going to look different. So we'll do hello world with a like kind of like a sim command. Uh, you push the little refresh button here, the little arrows. If you hover over it, it does say refresh. And that's going to spit out our code. So we got sin raw, hello world. You know, we can... Uh, Add like a timer, you know, 3,000 milliseconds, a.k.a. 30 seconds. I'm going to spit that out. Um, so, you know, there's there's what our code's looking at. That's version 1 code. So let's minimize that. And now we're in the version 2 one that we downloaded and launched. And let's just do the same thing. We're just going to go here. We're going to say, hello, world. Okay. 
And then we'll throw that sleep in there. Do the same thing. 3,000 milliseconds. That works. And if you haven't subscribed, obviously subscribe. It helps me out. And I'm throwing out one, two videos every week having to do with automation. Um, and if you guys have any questions about pullovers on a video maybe that I haven't done, I've done like gaming videos, basic intros to pullovers. Uh, if there's something else you have an idea that you think make a great video, let me know in the comments below. And uh, you know these videos are very popular, so give me some ideas. Uh, so we're going to push refresh. And as you see, there is version 2 code amazing so as you can see the difference here version one version two so you know with version two a lot of it's pretty much the same it's just a little bit formatting difference you know we're adding the brackets here uh the curly brackets up here quotations that kind of stuff um but yeah i mean this is spitting out version two i haven't tested this out a hundred percent i haven't tested out every single functionality you know we can do like uh if window active chrome Add that in there. Obviously, there's that. Um, so I haven't tested out every single functionality, but as far as I know, it seems to be making good version 2 code. Um, if you guys run into something where maybe it's not actually quite doing version 2 code correctly compared to version 1, definitely let us know in the comments below. Maybe the creator of this will see it and uh, can fix it. Uh, I don't know what his plans are. Speaking of, uh, let's see, this, it looks like the last time he updated anything on here was five months ago. Um, so that's a, I think that's a pretty good sign. I mean, to me, that means it's still pretty new. Hopefully that means he's going to at least update it at some point if there is an issue. Um, so it's not like it's something that was created years ago and hasn't been touched since. Because uh, if you go to like the version one pullover macro recorder, uh, I mean, I, I forget what it was, but it's been it's been a while since I think he's updated it. Let's let's take a look here together. How about that? I think you can go here and go to downloads. Um, obviously, the version two one's not like his official thing, so you're not gonna find it. Uh, here's GitHub, I think. Uh, that's actually a direct link. New source. Yeah, like, I mean, you look at this, uh, the smallest date I'm seeing here is like two years ago. So, yeah, I'm not sure if he's really working on this anymore, or if it's just, maybe there's nothing to work on. Um, I mean, there's version 2 to work on, but maybe he saw that there is a version 2 that someone did, and he's just like, hey, good enough. Don't know, like I said, <laughs> let me know if you know any better than I do. Um, but yeah, so far it does spit out pretty good code. Obviously, you can run the code from here just through the play button up here, these ones up here. <clears throat> or if you want an actual script that maybe you want to share with people or turn into an executable, you can always go here and say export to AHK. You know, name it whatever you want. Put it on my desktop. So, yeah. And it, the cool thing, too, is it actually um, looks like it has built in autohotkey.hk.hk2. That's because that's how I have it set up on my computer. I'm not sure if that will work on yours. Uh, I did do a video on how to run both version 1 and version 2 on your computer at the same time. So maybe check that out. And yeah, if you guys have any questions, let me know. This is a huge deal. I know lots of people like using macro reporters. They want to use version 1 just because they know it, but this could help you slowly transition into version 2 because you could write what you want, see how it looks, and start to you know see what version 2 actually looks at like for what your goal is versus having to read a crap load of documentation. You can just see, oh, okay, for sleeps, all I got to do is add these uh, you know parentheses added. Okay, now I know that. So it's a great learning tool, but definitely always try to get away from macro recorders eventually because they're messy a lot of times. And just it's just so much easier to code your own code. It's going to be cleaner and it's going to be more likely to do exactly 100% what you want. Where macro recorders can record a lot of extra junk that you don't actually need, especially if you're doing like mouse movements. Um, yeah, so just use this i always tell people use this as a, like a learning tool and just try to get away from it eventually and actually learn how to code because you're going to have a much better time 
And hey, it'll look good on a resume. All right, everybody. Hope uh, you're excited as I am for this. And I'll see you all on the next one. Thank you.